Rangers will have 38,000 fans backing them at Hampton when they face Motherwell in the Betfred Cup semi-final on Sunday. It is one of the biggest crowd splits in recent history of the last four of a national competition with Rangers fans outnumbering their Motherwell rivals by nearly 4-1. to one. It will be more like a home game for Pedro Caixin as men who will have the support of most of the stadium. But what other crowds have been unevenly divided record sport online takes a walks down memory lane. Hearts v Gretna 2006 Scottish Cup Final Hearts Captain Stephen Presley L celebrates the 2006 Scottish Cup win with Rudy Scutzel, manager Valdas Ivan Oscars and Edgaras Jankarskas image David Moyer Reuters the 2006 Scottish Cup Final saw fairy tale club Gretna face Hearts. With such a small fan base, the then second division club sold a lot more than they would have expected with 10,000 tickets snapped up. But with the attendance at 51,232, the vast majority of those came from Edinburgh to support Hearts with 33,000 being sold by Hearts. The game itself was a cracker, finishing 11 before Hearts won on penalties. Celtic v Dunfermline 2007 Scottish Cup Final Doris de Vries watches Celtic score the winner The 2007 Scottish Cup Final was a close one on the pitch but at WASNT in the stands. Celtic lifted the trophy in front of 49,600 fans after Jean Joel Perry Adamov scored a late winner. But the majority of those in attendance were wearing green and white hoops. Dunfermline may have sold out their allocation, but Celtic fans had most of the stadium. Current Celtic goalkeeper Doris de Vries was in goal for Dunfermline, who also boasted former Parkhead forward Mark Birchall among their ranks. Rangers v Queen of the South 2008 Scottish Cup Final Hibs can shock Celtic and reach Betfred Cup Final Alan Stubbs Chris Boyd celebrates his winning goal in the 2008 Scottish Cup Final image Getty similar to the 2006 Scottish Cup Final, it was a lower league club facing a top flight team. Queen of the South sold a similar number of tickets as Gretna did, bringing around 10,000 fans from Dumfries for the game. Rangers were playing their 68th game of a long season that included a run to the UEFA Cup final but the first division side ran them close in the game. Despite Rangers taking a 20 lead in the first half, a quick-fire double from Steve Tosh and Jim Thompson got Queen's level before Chris Boyd netted the winner late on. Dundee United v Ross County 2010 Scottish Cup Final Craig Conway celebrates scoring for Dundee United against Ross County image Reuters the whole of Dingwall were at Hampton for the 2010 Scottish Cup Final but that meant Dundee United were able to take around 30,000 fans to the game. Ross County produced the shock of the tournament in the round before when they beat Celtic 20 in the semi-final at Hampton, but couldn't complete the fairy tale. The then first division side went down 30 to the Tanadice side, with David Goodwillie opening the scoring before Craig Conway's double enough to win the match. Aberdeen v Inverness Caledonian Thistle 2014 League Cup Final Aberdeen lift the League Cup in 2014 Image SNS Group The biggest split in recent years happened at Celtic Park for the 2014 Scottish League Cup Final. With Hampton out of use because of the Commonwealth Games, the game was held at Celtic Park and Aberdeen took 41,000 fans and renamed the stadium Park Red. Around 10,000 Inverness fans were also there but the huge crowd motivated Aberdeen enough to lift the trophy, although they did it the hard way. With the scores still tied at 0-0 after extra time, it took a penalty shootout for the Dons to lift the League Cup and claimed their first silverware since 1995. Rangers to be backed by huge crowd against Motherwell in the Betfred Cup.